This is the Reflection of Perfection, the number one selection, TRP. Damn, I look good. Welcome back to Finance as we once again take a brief look at everyone's favorite lovable loser, MJ Hall. Fifteen days after his loss to British middleweight Bobby Faulkner in his pro debut, Hall was back in the ring on April 23rd, 2022 against the 3-0 middleweight Tyler Christopher. Unfortunately, all I could find of this fight was the final round, so we only get to see that. Will Hall score his first win in years, or will he suffer a loss number 78 to Christopher? Let's find out. Ding, ding. Where are we? We are in the hotel suite in Birmingham. Okay, so we're fighting in the middle of a hotel. And on the card, what do we got? We got a guy who's a woman, 90 and 8. And then we got another guy who's 12 and 73. A guy who's 0 and 8. Jesus. 20 and 90. Slovakia. She's 20 and 90, and she's already booked to fight in June. Gotta love it. All right, anyway, so what's the final round of... We got MJ Hall swinging and missing. His opponent is the Tyler Christopher. All right, Tyler Christopher is from Bermuda. Yay. Apparently, he likes to fight in this venue. He's... He, He's won his last three fights in this venue. And they're all just... He beat... Of all the guys he's beaten, MJ Hall, 2-77. Carl Turney, 0-21. Josh Hodgins, 0-5. Muhammad Hussein, his, his debut fight. So he's beaten three straight jobbers. <laughs> and somebody making his pro debut. Let me guess. I don't think this guy's want to fight either. No, he hasn't fought since. Once again, he's not doing anything to win, just trying not to get knocked out. Ten seconds left. What the fuck? Okay, so we just go, we just cut right to an interview with Tyler Christopher. That's wonderful. Okay, so we're going to cut right there. And in case you haven't figured it out, uh, Christopher wins. <laughs> you got to feel for someone like Hall who fights whoever he can, whenever he can, every few weeks to earn a paycheck. He's only 30 years old, so it's not like he can just anywhere, not like, he's not like he's anywhere near retirement age, so this is all he knows. He'll be back in the ring again soon enough, so we'll see him again, no doubt. But as of now, he loses fight number 78, and I thought that was the worst until I saw some of the cards he's been on and some of the people that's been on those cards, and he's not even close to the worst boxers like that are out there in Great Britain right now. I, I, these guys wouldn't even you know last five seconds in the States. They'd suspend their license in 30 seconds. So that's it for this fight. MJ Hall loses again. <laughs> what else is new? So I'll see you guys next time.